every day. Suit up. Can you help? Me a little further. Load up. Oh, I've got five bottles, five glaciers. The scientists are headed out to the glaciers. Lowered in a Navy boat turned research craft to measure what's changing in the ocean at the bottom of the world. We're going with them. Antarctica helps regulate the global climate, but sea ice is melting. To near record lows, February had abnormally warm temperatures, which over time affects everything in the ocean ecology. We've seen a ton of penguins today. Hopefully we see some penguin DNA in there, some whale DNA. Jenny Tolman is capturing DNA in water samples. But her expertise is the smallest of organisms. Microbes are the little engines of the ocean. They're also the things that are, they respond the most quickly to change and the poles are a very rapidly changing place. But collecting samples can be tricky work. Tia Anderlini is studying trace metals, reaching out to scoop up seawater. I was using a really long pole, basically to uh, avoid contamination from the boat itself. And at sea, things just happen. Ooh, I dropped it. A plastic lid slipped into the ocean. Can you look over and see if there's a cap floating under the boat? But within minutes, Retreat. it's been recovered. Glaciers are retreating in the Antarctic Peninsula more rapidly than before. The depth is 51 meters. One way to measure what's going on is grabbing sediment from the sea floor. Jeremy Bentley lets down a large claw to the depths and then hand over hand hauls it back up to deliver a muddy mass. There are clues here, and with deeper cores, about glacial history. We're looking at changes over time. Including human imprint, like any evidence of microplastics. <laughs> it's like a, a Christmas day for me with a good sediment sample. <laughs> a good bit of mud. Yes. Most of the samples will go back to Canada to analyze and share. There's more ambition than time. It's so rare to get here. The challenge is worth it. It's a great day for samples from glaciers from here. You got everybody? Here. Day's end, it's back to the mother ship with a bit of Antarctic scientific treasure to advance our understanding of what's happening to our climate. Susan Ormiston, CBC News in Admiralty Bay, Antarctica.